Hello, my dudes, and welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Sianna, and today I am so, so excited. We're gonna be revisiting some of my favorite games that I used to play as a kid. You know, in this phase of my life, I'm all about like cozy games, you know, Animal Crossing, Sims 4, Stardew Valley, the works. But before all of this came to fruition, okay, before our cozy gaming era began, I played a lot of computer games. I'm like, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever years old. And I would go on the computer and I'd pull up whatever my favorite game was at that moment. And I just spent hours playing. And I really wanted to go back and revisit some of those games and play them now as an adult. And just, I don't know, nostalgia. Okay, we're going, we're playing these games for nostalgia. I'm going to start off with my probably favorite, favorite, favorite game as a child, which was Club Penguin. And I know I'm not alone. Leave a comment down below if Club Penguin was your favorite game and also what color your penguin was. This is very important. It tells a lot about your personality. I need to know. We're going to be playing Club Penguin. So on Unfortunately, the original Club Penguin no longer exists. And there was something called Club Penguin rewritten, which apparently was also shut down. There is, however, this new Club Penguin. Is this legit? I have no idea. Am I about to download a virus on my computer? Maybe, but it's an app that you have to download. Like it's, a, it's an actual game that you have to download to your computer. So we're gonna do it. Just looking at the homepage, honestly, brings back so many memories. I'm really excited to see what new Club Penguin is and if it's like the same as regular old Club Penguin. Oh, we love the ads. Look at the ads. Oh, wait, look at all the colors they have. Better customization than OG Club Penguin. Am I wrong? Fun fact, my username on almost everything came from Club Penguin. Oh my gosh. I remember picking servers with my friends and trying to be like, which server should we join? Let's join. Blizzard seems like it's popping. <laughs> This is a lot. This is, I'm overstimulated. I don't want a tutorial to be honest. Wow, okay, this is a lot. You can't leave until you've completed the tutorial. My senses are overwhelmed. Oh, I hate tutorials. I know how to play, I know how to play. I swear I know how to play. The music is so bad, I'm sorry. Okay, it looks a little bit different. It just looks like Club Penguin, but upgraded. Like, look at these graphics. You bet your little butt I know where the, where the clothing shop is. It's so loud. I like my igloo, it's quiet in here. <laughs> Peace! Well, I mean, we have to put on our Insta Hero shirt and our new red baseball hat. Do have 500 coins. I wanna buy some clothes, so we need to play some games, get some coins. The game I played the most was the Mind Chat game. Cart Surfer, that's what it's called. I don't remember how to play, I don't remember. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do I do a backflip? Oh, nailing it. Me playing a game for children, like I got this. I am so good. Only 150 coins? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, do you think children are playing Club Penguin or do you think that like, it's just, I was gonna say old people as if I'm old, as if older people who played this as children are now the only people playing this new Club Penguin. Oh, <gasps> did we win? 30 coins. Rip off. Nope, we're done. But also play Hydro Hopper a lot. I was never that good at it. I feel like, listen, my hand-eye coordination, even now, not great. Okay, honestly, this one's not very fun. Okay, we have 700 coins. Let's go see if we can get cool clothes. I wanna look like a noob, okay? People are gonna make fun of me. Oh, the music in here is atrocious. That hair's kinda cute. I love that shirt. The poncho, that bow hair, I need it. Wow, some of the stuff is actually really, really cute. One eternity later. I'm sorry, I cannot handle the music. We're getting dressed in our igloo. Wait, cute. We're cute. Actually, I don't like the outfit that much, but it's too late. I only have two coins left. Honestly, I feel like it's changed slightly, but if you still want like the nostalgic OG Club Penguin vibes, then this new Club Penguin game slash app is definitely right for you. The vibes are there. It's so cute. <laughs> the music, super irritating in a lot of the places. All in all, really cute. Glad we got to come back to Club Penguin. I literally spent so many hours of my childhood on this game. So good. <laughs> I think a lot of us played Club Penguin as children, right? It was just a very hip and happening game at the time. Like, I feel like a lot of us can relate to playing Club Penguin. Penguin. But do you remember playing this next game? It's called Pop Tropica. And I don't know why, but this game also had me in a chokehold. Do I remember anything about this game? No. Oh, we get to pick a character. I'm gonna be her because I like her hat. Oh my gosh, another tutorial. I don't remember any of this. Did I play this game? I heard you lost your happy ending. Uh, I don't know about that, but I've been all over the forest trying to deliver this pizza for days. The wolf is chasing me out each time. I'm not afraid of no big bad wolf. Where am I supposed to go? I don't, what do I do with him? No, okay, nothing. Didn't she used to be able to like shop and stuff in this game too? Or am I, do I totally have that backwards? This is not how I remember the game. I mean, I guess there was like little quests like that. I remember it being more of like a social game though. I don't know, I don't like this. I don't like this. I've seen plenty. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> 
When I was younger, I really liked these dolls called Mycene dolls. They were kind of like, it was just a Barbie Bratz-esque doll. And I used to go online and I would play the Mycene games. And look what I found. I would play this Mycene beauty studio. And then this dazzling nail game, me and my cousin Sierra loved to play this. Oh, I do remember this. And you can like change the highlights and stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is the one I chose just every single time because I thought it was really pretty. Let's do this pulled back look. Oh my goodness. I mean, we might as well just go for like the blue or the purple. Honestly, we're gonna go with the purple. Mascara, I mean, the purple's kind of fun, but I'm gonna go with the black. Ooh, wait, the green's really pretty with the purple. I'm a big green and purple fan. Call me the Joker, I don't care. I think it's really nice. Look at all the jewelry, so cute. I'm not gonna have her put on sunglasses, but how early 2000s is this? She's gorgeous. I did a great job. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at the nail game. You can like do one each a different color. Oh my gosh, this pattern. I remember this pattern of nail polish and I was like, how cool would it be to have this in real life? And then you can put stickers, little gemstones. I was a big like customization accessories girly when it came to games. I love making avatars. I still love making avatars. So games like this as a kid where you get to like customize everything and make a character or even just their hands exactly how you want them was my jam. I loved it. And the last Last game that we're gonna play today is Toontown, Disney's Toontown. I played this as a kid. Some of the aspects of the game freaked me out a little bit. The graphics are really wonky. I did play Toontown rewritten or like another version of Toontown not that long ago. This game, terrifying. It looks scary a little bit, but I'm gonna download it anyway. We're probably not gonna play a lot of Toontown because I think it's very like story and tutorial-esque, which I don't wanna do, but I do just wanna show how terrifying it kind of looks. Is that not scary? That's terrifying. There are so many options you can choose from and they're all very scary. Oh, it turns so slow, it's creepy. Even the music feels like a fever dream a little bit. Like I, I, I just feel like, I just feel scared. <laughs> See, but like customization, like I loved, I loved and lived for this as a child. Customizing your character, this took me all day. It's giving Olivia Rodrigo a little bit. No, not the tutorial, not the tutorial. These guys scared me as a kid. These were like the bad guys in Toontown. They were called cogs. You have to like play different jokes on them to stop them from being bad. I don't really know how it worked. Look at him. Is that not scary? I'm gonna tell the boss about you. Do it. What a weird, what a weird idea for a game. Like practical jokes to take out these weird robot people. Oh, he's combusting. Got it. Yeah, this creeped me out. I, was like, I didn't like when they did this. Don't know why, I just didn't like it. Again, fever dream-esque. The whole entire world of Toontown. See, and I'm pretty sure that the thing that you were supposed to do here was like defeat all the cogs and finish that storyline and stuff. All I remember is like being at my housing plot, housing area and having a pet and feeding it jelly beans. I feel like the game now makes me feel a little bit nauseous. I. I don't like it. I'm nervous. Doesn't it just look weird? It's a little off-putting. I feel unsettled being here. To be fair, that's how I feel in a lot of the kiddie Disneyland rides, like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Oh, oh, what is that? I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like this game. With that, I think I've had just about enough uh, nostalgia for the day. <laughs> how do I exit? I can't, how do I get out of the game? It wouldn't let me leave for a while. I was so, I was so concerned. I don't know what to say about the ending there, but I had some fun playing some of my old favorite childhood games. Let me know in the comments what your favorite games were as a kid. What did you play? I kind of want to make this like a little mini series where we just continue playing some old games because I just, I just love it. It's so fun, I think, to revisit the past, but thank you so much for being here. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you so, so soon in the next video. Until then, stay safe and take care.